Hey, what's up, Drew? Matt here. So today's question was a pretty good one, and I covered this a little bit in the vlogs way back when, but the question was from Jonathan, and Jonathan's question was, I'm getting ready to start my business, and what type of cutter and heat press should I get started with? What type of equipment do I need to get started? And my answer always to this question is, whichever one you can afford. Okay, so you got to think, even after you buy your vinyl cutter and your heat press, you still need your materials, you still need your um, blanks, you still need a lot of other things. Okay, so don't just think of, I have $2,000, I have $5,000, I have $500, whatever that amount is, that we can just spend that on the vinyl cutter and heat press. So, like many of you know, I started with the least expensive vinyl cutter I could find, and I didn't even start with the heat press because we couldn't afford it at the time. So, I started as the decal world, and we just did vinyl car decals. So, my answer always to that question is whatever you can afford. Now, back then, if I had $5,000 to start, and I had a good amount of money, I would get a graph tech or a Roland for my vinyl cutter, and I would get the 16 by 20 Hotronics Auto Clam because those are my favorite. So if I have the budget for it, yes, 100%, I would get it right off the start. However, if I don't have the budget for it, I would get what I could afford because that starts your business. So even if you get the least expensive, even if you have a Silhouette Cameo, don't think that just because you have a Silhouette Cameo, you don't have a business. As many of I'm sure you will comment below, you can run a pretty dang good business with a Silhouette Cameo. Now, it still requires work just because you have a Cameo. Don't think it's just a craft cutter. You can do a lot of things and run a very successful business with a Silhouette Cameo, okay? But, of course, it is a lot slower. It's a lot louder. It's, it's not going to cut quite as precise. You aren't going to be able to do quite as much with the software. But you started your business and you can grow it from there and then eventually graduate into one of those graph techs or rollers. So hope this uh, Ask Matt helped you out here, Jonathan. And But if you guys do have any questions and plan on doing these all the time, so please comment below. Let me know. Give me some more amazing questions. I love sharing all of my information with you guys. Having a great time here in the Caesars Palace and at the Atlantic City ISS show. Had some awesome classes. Met some awesome new crew members and old crew members. But look forward to meeting all of you. So keep up the work. Keep working. So you can already tell I'm losing my voice, right? All the classes and talking at the show all day. But... Remember, it isn't easy, okay? And if you think that it's easy and you think just because you have a cutter or a heat press, you have a business that's going to be successful, it's not going to happen that way. So make sure that you work hard at it, all right? Work hard, put in the time, put in the effort, go out and get the business because as you know, the business is not going to come to you, all right? Thanks a lot, guys. Comment below. Please, if you like these ass mats, go ahead and click that little thumbs up, like the video here. Always makes me happy to see a lot of likes and see that these videos are helping you guys and that's the whole point of this. So, you guys all have an amazing night. Day three of the Atlantic City show is tomorrow. Looking forward to seeing some of you out there. And shoot me some more questions. I'm gonna give you some more answers. You guys all have an awesome night and we'll see you.